Did you eat my underwear? Did you eat my underwear? Hmm? Did you do this? Sugar. Did you eat my underwear? Hey y'all, it's Jacqueline, and I am in the first sweater of the year. It has finally got cold enough here in Texas to justify wearing a sweater. It is cold, it is rainy. By cold, I do mean like 60 degrees, so for me, that's freezing. For people up north, that's like summer, so just keep that in mind. Um, but this weather is like sweater, boots, scarf, hat weather for Texans. So I just got my vegan cuts box in and um, I peaked. Just know that every single month I peak. There's no physical way for me to restrain myself, um, but I did get to use a couple of the products so I can like talk a little bit more about them than just a first impressions. This is the beauty box for the month of October and Vegan Cuts is a little bit more expensive than like Birchbox Ipsy. It's in the $20 to $25 range so like along the lines of like a boxy charm or glossy box um, and you get what you pay for. You really do with, with the subscription services. So we got six products in this month's box and I'm going to start out with the product that I am most excited about and that is this Luxie Beauty brush. So this is the number 130 brush from Luxie Beauty and it is the Detail Angled Blender and it is so cute. This is the first Luxie Beauty brush that I've ever owned um, although I do see them in subscription boxes frequently um, but it is it is a gorgeous brush and really well made too. I love the like pink pearl handle. It's a beautiful color. Um, the ferrule is on there really good there's no shaking or anything like that going on the bristles are incredibly soft incredibly soft this is like an elf brush when it grew up like everything an elf brush wants to be and I love my elf brushes I do but this just takes synthetic to another level like it is incredibly soft so the card does say that this is a $12 brush um, you can see it it's an angled brush here um, looks duo fiber but it is a, a synthetic so it's all synthetic hair um, and it is a little bit bigger this is not like an eye angled brush which I do love I love my angled eyeshadow brushes which I do think this could be definitely used for in a pinch if you had to it's just a little bit big but hey if this was the only brush you had and you had to blend out a crease I think it would work perfectly fine what I imagine this is going to be great for is contouring I mean look how perfect this like Oh, it just would chisel that right there so well. And it's dense enough to lay on product, but not too dense that it wouldn't blend it out. Um, I have a couple of contour brushes that I absolutely love that get that incredibly sharp contoured line, but you can't blend with them. All you get is that sharp line. I saw this product on the sneak peek. Vegan Cuts does release like little videos or posts on their social media um, about, you know, like one or two products that's coming in the box to kind of give you a sneak peek and I saw this and I was very excited because it's a highlighter. I love highlighters. Who doesn't? Um, so this is the Jersey Shore Cosmetics Gold Leaf Highlighter. Yeah, Radiant Gold Leaf Highlighter. Um, it is a $15 value, so this is, would be originally $15. Um, it does say that it has real gold flakes in it. Um, it's probably a very minuscule amount, but that's still kind of cool. Um, obviously cruelty-free, obviously vegan. So as you can see, it's in kind of a chapstick kind of form here, so it is a cream highlighter. And I'm not I'm not totally crazy about cream products in general, um, cream blushes, highlighters, I'm just, I prefer my powder. Um, but definitely something I wanted to try, it just twists up like that and it is gold. So be mindful of that. Um, I typically go towards a more champagne-y pink highlight. Um, so this is, is gold. Um, and I'm going to do a little swatch for you here. The thing is, it, it is a very natural looking highlighter. It is not um, anything over the top, glittery, anything like that. And it's not so gold that I couldn't pull this off. Um, the thing is, I, I'm, I personally am not crazy about more natural looking highlights. Sorry about it. I do. I want my highlights to be highlights. You see what I'm saying? Um, but what I do think this product would be amazing for is is one for the body and two like during the summer. Like this this would be a perfect product for like a June 
box. You know what I mean? Like, I am going to hold on to this and keep it for, like, when I go on vacation next summer when I'm tanned and I have that glow. You know, I don't use a lot of makeup. I use just a little bit, and I can imagine just putting a little bit on when I have that deep tan to, like, go out to dinner. Put a little bit, like, on my collarbones. You know what I mean? Just to give you that, like, golden-y, tropical sheen. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous and I think that's a very functional use for a product like this. This is one of the products that I actually already did get to try out. It is from the Ariel Company and it is a hair mask, an oil hair mask as you can see. So this is natural and organic hair mask to enhance the to enhance your alluring mermaid locks uh, $13 value. Um, so I thought this was going to be like a hot oil treatment and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like I used to love that old school VO5 hot, hot oil treatment. Um, so I actually had to wash my hair last night and I tried this out. Well, I read the directions on the back and it's not, it's not a hot oil treatment. It says to apply evenly to dry hair, leave on for at least 30 minutes for best results, and then rinse with cold water, shampoo one to two times, and uh, condition as usual. So this is like a pre-treatment. You're supposed to just douse your hair with it and then go shampoo and condition it. Um, I did try that out. I can tell you I didn't leave it on for 30 minutes because I didn't anticipate that. I thought it was going to be an oil treatment. Um, and it was deeply, deeply moisturizing. I'm just, I wish it was a conditioner. And I think that there is going to be a lot of uses for this. I think that I can pour a little bit in with my conditioner and it would kind of amp up the, uh, you know, the conditioningness of it. I think I could use this as like, um, you know, just like an oil when I'm drying my hair, just to kind of silk in it, something like that. This next product is a body butter from Le Burr Shop. It says Essential Burr. I think I'm saying that right. Can anyone see that? All my French speakers out there. B-E-U-R-R-E. -E. Isn't that burr like burr blanc? Um, I think burr in French is butter, right? Uh, I'm not, I'm pretty sure that, I know my restaurant terms and I know what burr blanc is. So that's what I, you know, just kind of initially thought. Um, and this is the Shea Butter Body Cream. And this is a $7.50 value. Um, this, it says vanilla scented. I will tell you, it's I've never seen a product like this. It not only looks, but smells just like cookie dough. I mean, even touch, like the texture of it. Like, can you see that? Oh, I can smell it from here. It smells like chocolate chip cookie dough is exactly what it smells like. You know, because when it's dough, you can't really smell the chocolate. You just smell that like kind of vanilla-y, sugary scent to it. It is it is cookie dough, I swear to God. It kind of makes me want to eat it, too. I'm not even going to lie. Um, but the texture, you see how it's kind of like sticky and putty-y? It's just freaking cookie dough, I swear to God. So, I mean, therefore, it smells good. It smells like cookie dough. Um, and I, I have used a little bit, like, on the back of my hand and stuff. It is, it is strong. Like, it is deeply, deeply moisture. I mean, look. See how, like, oily my hand looks? This is something that needs to be, like, a cuticle cream like a cuticle oil or something for incredibly dry skin which is good to have going into these winter drier months you know like on your knees and your elbows and stuff like that but I'm telling you this is some hardcore moisturizing so you have to be very careful with that like don't just slather this all over your body this next product is a sample from true moringa and it is a moringa oil it looks like uh, let's see peppermint body oil that will deeply hydrate your skin from the inside out and this is worth two dollars um, I I love oils so it's always I'm always grateful to get them this is a very very small size though it would have been like they have the full size on the front and I would have really liked to have gotten that um, so apparently it's a moringa oil and then it's peppermint scented it's very pepperminty Smells very similar to Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works, so if you're into that. Um, I love using oils on my face. Um, my face, my body, my hair, everything. I mean, your body naturally produces oil, so, you know, oil is something that's very natural to your skin um, versus, you know, a cream or a moisturizer made from chemicals. And our last product is a lip balm from October Fields. That's a cute name. Um, Moisture-rich lip balm that's free from parabens, preservatives, and all things artificial. It is a $3.50 lip balm. Um, it, and it's just in the original scent. 
plant-based ingredients, exceptional moisturizer, um, and it is very natural. There's just no nothing, no chemicals, nothing like that in it. I did try it out already. It is just a standard, basically a chapstick, but a vegan, cruelty-free, better-for-you version. Thank y'all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I hope you did enjoy. I will see y'all in the next video, and if you're not subscribed already, hit that button, stick around. I'd love to have you as a friend here on my channel, and remember, as always, you are already famous right where you are in your hometown, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters to me. That's all I care about. You are the only celebrities that matter in my world. Love y'all so much. See you in the next video. Bye.